if it's a little weird that the light is in the background, but it's just um, gonna give you a quick rundown before I actually start my mom's hair and what I'm gonna do. And so, first things first, I'm gonna balayage out some foils. I'm gonna do foils. Normally when I do a balayage, I would not foil it, but because I have to do her roots because she has gray, we're gonna foil them up, but do a balayage, just foil it up. Um, so what I'm gonna use is my Schwartz Cop Blonde Me Premium Lift 9 Plus, up to nine levels of lift, my favorite bleach. I've talked about this in the past. It's like the only bleach I'll use. And I'm gonna use that with 20 volume developer. And then for her roots, I'm just going to retouch her with the 3N, which is just a neutral and it's great for gray coverage. And I'm gonna use this with 20 volume. She has quite a few in the front and whatnot. So, um, and then once that is all said and done, or everything that's not foiled out will be colored with the 3N. And then rinse her out and then rinse the foils out with just shampoo. Go back in with the Verico K-Pack Joyco uh, Color Intensity and Semi-Permanent Peacock Green. So she has that nice transition. I did find a photo um, for inspiration, so I'll insert it here. Not sure. Here, not sure who the artist is, but it really did inspire me, and I wanted to do this look. So my mom's the perfect candidate. And I actually am trying out a new product today. So this is Bray Bond Angel Plex Effect. Um, you have one bond maker two bond reconstructor and three bond fortifier so this is kind of like an olaplex it's similar to that but obviously it's not olaplex and it's just supposed to help your hair to not get damaged during the bleaching process so i'm going to give this a go for the first time today on my mom's hair and i know that if it works i'll feel a difference because her hair does dry out a lot from bleach so this is supposed to stop that from happening so um, i'm also going to be reviewing this as well there are three products with three steps first product acts as a chemical protector second Second acts as a post chemical rebuilder. Third is a powerful post chemical fortifier, which is also suggested as home care, even for those who did not perform the steps. So the third one just can be used for just to fortify your hair. Add two milliliters of step one bond maker for each 10 grams of bleaching powder in the color preparation and mix everything in the bowl. Easy guys, dogs are playing. Apply the mix in the hair as the usual process, rinse without shampoo. After rinsing the hair, apply 15 milliliters to 20 milliliters of step two bond reconstructor in the hair. Use a fine tooth comb to comb through the entire section from the roots to the ends. Leave on for 15 minutes, then you're gonna rinse the hair, shampoo, and condition. Use bond fortifier at home to guarantee the anti-inflammatory process of the bonds and to amplify the effect. So yeah, we're gonna give this a go on my mom and it's kind of gonna be a review slash transformation on my mom and we'll see how it goes. So I'll bring you guys along for the process. Okay, so this is the hair that we're starting with. She has quite a few highlights. In the back, they're a little bit more lighter than they are in the front. Uh, you know, her hair is pretty lightened, but there's a lot of red tones in there, and that's kind of what we're trying to just diffuse, because we're just kind of sick of the red at this point. And, you know, her hair just looks really dry, and it just needs a change. So I'm going to start by sectioning off her hair and you know I'm already waiting for the critique police to say your sections aren't clean. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, I have my own way of doing things. You have your own way. I know what they teach you in Cosmo school but like let's be honest this is how I work especially when I'm balayaging kind of just doing free form painting. So what, what I mean by balayaging and freeform painting is highlights usually follow a technique, meaning that you part and section really well, and then you go ahead and, you know, put in your highlights. So this is just kind of wherever I feel like the color is going to lay the best. So it's freeform and it's totally up to you. The reason I'm foiling it, normally if I balayaged, I would never foil it. So the reason I'm foiling it is because my mom has roots that are gray. Um, so I have to go in with color. So you have to foil it out because then it will just be super messy. Um, and I kind of like to keep things pretty clean. So yeah, I'm just foiling it out all through her hair, wherever I feel like the color will lay the best. And that's why I love balayaging because 
it's totally whatever you want to do. Like it's just wherever you want to place the foil or you know wherever you want to see light, you see light. So I don't know. I really like doing it. So now I'm applying the color and I'm applying the color to the roots and whenever I do color like this I always like to apply it to the front of the hairline and then work my way in between sections and foils. And even when I get to the back of the head I'll do the like neckline, hairline, whatever you want to call it and then I'll do the rest. It's just like how I learn to work I guess. So wherever I didn't like foil it or balayage, we're going in with this color, which is 3N. It's level three neutral, so and we're using 20 volume to really counteract those grays because my mom's got a, quite a few of grays and we don't want those showing. And I always go back in, like as you guys see now, I'm going right back to the back. I always double check my work. I, that's just how I am, how I've learned to do things. Um, you know, because when you move the hair around, you realize, oh, I missed a spot. So you want to add more color in if you need to. If it was one solid color, I would comb it out. But since she's got foils, I can't really comb it out. So she's going to sit and process for about 30 minutes. And so I rinsed her out and I only shampooed her hair. I did not condition because we're going to go in with a color and the color won't seal if we condition it. So I'm just combing it out. And so this is what it looks like right now. But I'm going to go in with my blow dryer to make sure her hair is completely dry. Because when you add in like a color, like Joyco's, like bright colors, you want it to stick and seal and if the hair is wet it won't seal and if you add conditioner in before you add the color it won't seal so these are just little tips and tricks if you're not a hairstylist so just blow blowed her hair out <laughs> and this is what it looks like you can see the balayage blonde and that's not going to be blonde for long we're going to add in a fun peacock green color but this is what it looks like at this current moment and so now i'm adding the peacock green in By the way, my mom had no idea I was adding green into her hair. She kind of just lets me do whatever I feel like I want to do, and I usually don't tell her, and so she was pretty shocked when she saw it. She's like, Mariah, I don't know if I could pull this off. I'm like, Mom, it looks great on you. Trust me, it's not like pastel. It's not like neon. It looks really good. So, yeah, I'm just working in sections to make sure that I am totally covering everything I need to cover, and... Once that's done, I'm going to comb it out because I do have that Bond Angel, the number two, the reconstructor in there. So in, in the thing it says to like comb it out, but since the peacock green's in there, I do want to comb it out to make sure there's no blonde pieces still. I want it to be completely peacock green. So it's very important to double check your work because honestly it happens where some pieces are blonde. Like it's just you know inevitable but if you really double check your work it's not it's not an issue you have to really just double check because this work is what's going to sell you as a hairstylist people are going to see this and say oh my god who did your hair and if it looks like shit no one's going to want to go to you so you got to really take pride in your work and that's something i've always done so yeah she's all combed out so she's going to chill for about 20 minutes And I rinsed her out with uh, cool water and I only conditioned. I didn't shampoo. Since we already shampooed her prior, there's no need to shampoo again. So I rinsed her out in cool water to lock in that color and uh, conditioned her really well. So now I'm just going to comb her out because we are going to cut her hair. My mom wanted straight across bang, something she hadn't had for a long time. In fact, I don't even remember my mom ever having straight across bangs, but I think it's pretty cool she decided to go with that. So she didn't even have side bangs. She's only had like just hair angles maybe. So 
yeah, it was pretty cool to do it on her, and I really do like how it came out. So here I'm cutting the bangs. I'm sorry my arm's in the way. This is what sucks about being the one to just film yourself with a tripod. I wish somebody was home to film me. But anyway, when I do bangs like this, I literally only take off a little bit of hair at a time and then I like readjust to look at it. Like I do not just go in there and cut at the eyebrows and leave it at that. Like I slowly take hair off because that way I can see how it's gonna lay. And I don't wanna just chop off too much. You don't want like bangs that are like less than an inch long. You know what I mean? That's not acceptable. So I always take my time and kind of just readjust and look at it and see if I like it. And I always slide cut down the sides. But you guys will see me do that in a moment. I always slide cut because I don't want blunt like bangs with no angles. So see right here I'm slide cutting. Because I think that's very crucial to have like angles in the front when you have straight across bangs. You just don't want these blunt bangs. And my mom kind of has like a diagonal forward with layers, but that's the kind of haircut she has. Uh, she's not too fond of like the really sharp diagonal forward, so I kind of just keep it really, really basic. So, unfortunately, my camera did die, so you guys didn't see me trimming up her hair and angling her more and adding in layers. So, moving right along, I give her a really good rough dry before I go in and style. I get the hair literally 90% dry because it's so much easier to blow dry with the round brush versus when it's like sopping wet. I don't know, I just have been taught this in beauty school to make sure that the hair is mostly dry before actually going in with a round brush. So I'm just making sure it's dry and then I will go in with a round brush to style her out. As you can see, her hair is pretty much dry at this point. It's not like it's sopping wet. So my work will be a lot more easier this way versus leaving it sopping wet and going right in with a round brush. You want to make sure it's mostly dry. And what do you guys think of the color? I think it came out so cool. And I think it's so different and just fun. I think it totally fits her. Her hair looks so silky and so soft and I really do think those bond angels, those one, two, and three steps, kind of like an Olaplex but not an Olaplex, um, I think it really did help her hair and she even agrees her hair felt so soft. So I'll have a link below to where you guys can check them out if you're interested. Okay, so... This is the finished product. I'm trying to have this right. Mom thinks the color might be too <clears throat> bold for her. I said, no, Mom, it's not that bright. It's like a dark green, I mean, compared to other colors. It's not like pastel, it's not like neon. I think it looks really good. It just adds a little bit of dimension and something different to her hair. I didn't want to do just blonde highlights. I wanted to add some green in there. And you guys missed it in the beginning. She didn't have bangs, and now she does. Then she can do whatever you could do something mm -hmm. easily. Here, here. That looks weird. You can play with them and do whatever yeah. you want, but um, so I wanted to let you guys know what I thought of the what's the name of that stuff? Let me grab it. The Bond Angel, which is I guess kind of like a um, kind of like a uh, Olaplex, but I've never used Olaplex, so I can't compare it to that. But I do think that my mom's hair. Um, I've done highlights and bleach on her before and I do think it's a lot softer than it's been in the past. So I will say that much for the product. I think that it does work and a little goes a long way. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of her hair transformation. I think she looks fabulous and I think that bangs definitely <clears throat> look good on her and the color is awesome. So yeah, leave comments below and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.